Hello! In this video, we're going to show you how to dump the RV or trailer as soon as you get back from a camping trip or an outing. This is going to be our quick version. It's not like at an RV park or anywhere like that. It's after a deal and you know you're going to be going out the next week or something like that. So this is a really quick tutorial on how to do that. There are a lot of places that you can dump, different dump stations that are available. We're gonna use Camping World, it's really close to our house. It's five minutes away, and I have a good Sam's account, so you can just dump for free at Camping Worlds. But there are a lot of different ones that you can do. Some are free, some you have to pay for. The dump station, some of them have two. And so this particular one is if you pull up on that, that side over there, so I pulled up to where I'm pretty much in line here with this one facing this direction. And you'll notice there's some toilet paper and sewage that people haven't washed off. So with my Tupperware, I'm going to place it up over here to where it's not where other stuff has been, just to try to keep it as clean as possible. Some guys will wear gloves. I, I don't. I just wash my hands well afterwards. So I'm going to take off the end of it here and screw on this bottom piece and then I'm going to undo the other part here and then I'll hook it up to the RV. Once I have the hose hooked up the way that I want it to, I connect the side, I take the cap off, connect the side to the RV. I want this pretty short so that it doesn't go all over the place. And then this easily twists, and I set that in. This does not have threads on the drain, on the, on the cement side. So I just get that in there to where it stays as straight as I can here. And then, black is first. So we pull the black. Sometimes you just want to make sure that it doesn't start snaking around on you. I already prepared the bowl with water in it just because I'm not going to hook up the other hose. I'm kind of in a hurry tonight, so I'm going to do the short one. I knock and my wife is going to flush the bowl water out just to kind of flush the tank. I'm not totally cleaning out the black tank this time just because we're going to be going out next weekend again and, and we just keep using it. If I'm closing it off for the year, then I will go ahead and flush it out really well so that it's all clean. She just flushed the toilet. I'm going to close the black and I'm going to open the gray and again this is just soapy water that's going down. It's actually cleaning the pipe as it goes and so I'm not going to even hook up a hose to rinse out my hose because you can usually hook up to a faucet over here into one of the spigots. You hook your hose up, you can wash your pipe out. I don't do that because it's already washed out and then I keep the ends plugged off so it's not leaking anywhere and I keep it all clean. Once all of the gray has flushed, I'll close that drain. So I just push the valve in, push this gray valve in and then I'll wait just a few seconds so that any residue of, of the gray water can continue down out of the RV so it doesn't drip around. If it does drip around, I will hook up the hose and, and wash it down. You just spray it off and you try to do a better job than people before us did. But you try to drain it and just wash it off, wash it down the drain. Well, after I've waited a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect from the RV. And then I will put on the cap again. And I'll put this cover on. I'll lift it up to make sure all water is drained out. And then I like to store it pretty tight, so I wrap it up. Again, I'm trying not to get it in here. Then I lift this part out. Remove the end. Replace the cap. And my hose back in there. Then I make sure that I've closed my bins. And then I go inside the RV and I wash my hands. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, please like and subscribe and we'll make sure to put more helpful videos on for you.